Now, June is National Safety Month, and certainly the time to travel with family, which includes our four-legged companions, is now. And today, we're going to help spread the word about a nonprofit. It's a national nonprofit, and it's a pet safety group, and it's called Bark Buckle Up. Here's the founder, Christina Selter and Patrick Logue. It's good to have both of you with us today. Thank you. But we have another right. person, well, not person, he's like a person. He's the size of a person. Is this Jakey? This is Jake, Hi, Jake. and he's actually uh, wearing a, a safety gear. Hi. Yes. So this is this is why you're here. Why did you decide to do this? Well, actually, we had a, a almost accident in our vehicle, and our Betty fell off the seat, didn't want to get back on. So we figured there must be products out there that can help keep her safe during travels and our other dog and cat, and then how we could also assist first responders because. They come to an accident, they need to get to the humans to get them to safety. So that's exactly what Bark Buckle Up is about. Exactly. Okay, so so what are the best ways to keep our pets safe this summer? I know we're going to talk about that. Absolutely. The Bark Buckle Up Pet Safety Kit is on our website, okay. thebarkbuckleup.com. It's a free registration for your information, your pet, and it comes with the first responder decal, so it goes right on your car window. When they come to the accident, they know all of your information is in your glove box. They can get your pet help. They can get you help and yeah. let your family know you're going to the hospital. But even for pets, of course, we're going to try and get Jake to come back up. Yay! <laughs> He's actually wearing a travel harness that works with the human safety belt. The human safety belt can go through the back, mm -hmm. or Patrick has the little uh, tether over here, and this goes right into Let me see that. the... This goes right into the child safety seat D-ring or in an SUV, right in the back to a D-ring or, oh, or in a station wow. wagon or anything like that. Because the projectile, that's, that's the scary part. Because if this dog flies, this is going to be very serious. Absolutely. He's over 60 pounds, but a 60-pound pet, 30 mile per hour accident, 2,700 pounds projectile. Yikes. Huge weight coming through the vehicle. Of course, you want to have your other gear with you. You want to make sure that you have um, first aid history. All right. So you, maybe a book, of course, maybe a first aid kit that you can keep handy for here you have a lot of evacuations. Absolutely and Patrick I want to ask you because I know you're a trainer um, how do you get your dogs to put these life vests and things on that will keep them safe how do you get them used to it because they don't like it sometimes. Right a, a really good way to do about it is um, well to use some treats to make the to make the make the experience of putting some of these devices on a pleasurable oh, one. Okay. If you just some dogs if you go gung-ho with it they'll just shut down and then you're you're really working from behind the eight ball at that point. So then they exactly. panic. As soon as you pull that out, that's like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Right. So, so uh, okay. we want to make it a pleasurable experience. So if you associate, well, uh, life vests with a uh, jumbo. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> did you uh, see what he did? It was like uh, jumbo. <laughs> if you associate a life vest with a really good treat and Jake likes his jumbo. He obviously um, does and he obviously is very smart and knows exactly what that is. Absolutely. <laughs> He's and a smart boy. Was uh, he a rescue? He was a rescue dog. My wife and I got him at the pound when he was about three months old. Oh, um, well, he's a great dog. He's he's been a, a he's been a, a wonderful ray of sunshine around here. So these are really important devices, and we also have to talk about you know when you're traveling, you can get items like this. I mean, this is a, a cool little dog bed, but you put it in here and you put the seatbelt through it. Exactly. It's a pet bed, a oh. travel bed, a car seat. It's airline approved and it's a carrier. So for mm -hmm. cats or small dogs or even ferrets, great product to travel mm -hmm. with year-round, going to hotels, everything. You've got it all right there. And then the inside's washable. Okay, very nice. And, th and this is the largest size, right? Absolutely. And There's a smaller one for smaller pets like the teacups, but this is a great size for the regular pets. You know what? We, I, I pulled a picture of something. Uh, and what do you do if a dog is riding in the back of a truck? Well, we don't ever advocate. Like that. No, Thank we you. don't advocate back of a pickup. Actually, there's a big campaign right now for Oklahoma and Texas. They have the most truck rollovers for click it or ticket. Mm -hmm. Pets do not s survive an accident, either what a human in the back. So think about that. You please don't do that. No, yeah, absolutely that's... avoid it at all possible. Use one of the harnesses, a crate, a carrier, anything to secure your pet in the SUV or the back seat. If you have to do a pickup, a crate tethered is more safe. Very good. More safe. Uh, these are great safety ideas, and we'll have more information. Uh, Bark buckle up. Very cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank and we're you. very excited to have you here. Thanks for being with both of both of you. We're glad you're here, Jake. Thanks. We we like you too. You're awesome. Now we're gonna find.